Welcome to this overview and tour around the beautiful Capitol Springs Recreation Area. And I'll introduce you to the work of the Friends Group supporting this park. My name is Judy Pfeiffer, and I'm the treasurer of the Friends of Capitol Springs Recreation Area. Together, the county, the state, and the Friends Group, along with other partners, work to implement our park master plan. Located immediately to the south of the Beltline is this extraordinary and unique park. It was created in the year 2000 as a county and state park and extends from Lake Wabisa West to Fish Hatchery Road, encompassing 2,500 acres of natural land, water, and wildlife habitat. This park has more than 14 springs feeding into the Nine Springs Creek and the Yahara River watershed, protecting over 1,100 acres of wetlands, which retain rainwater, buffer floods, recharge groundwater, and filter runoff. First, I will introduce you to the units that make up the recreation area. Lunny Lake Farm County Park, established in 1973, encompasses 345 acres. It was renamed in the summer of 2019 to honor William G. Lunny's 30 years of service as chair of the Dane County Parks Commission and his 50 years of conservation leadership. Across from Lunny Lake Farm Park is the Phil and Libby Lewis Nine Springs E-Way which runs through the park. It is part of Professor Lewis's vision of an environmental corridor that stands for education, ecology, aesthetics, exercise, environment, and exploration. Nestled in the middle of the park is the magical Jenny and Kyle Preserve, funded by a generous family for people with cognitive and physical challenges. And while you are there, don't miss the lovely Four Season Mural, which shows how art can enhance a park. At the end of the recreation area is the Nevin Springs Fish Hatchery, operated by DNR and located off of Fish Hatchery Road. People especially love using our trails. The Capital City State Trail winds its way through the park. And don't miss seeing the marvelous new Lower Yahara River Trail, added in 2017 along the railroad trestle next to Lake Wabisa. It starts at Lunny Lake Farm Park and connects to the Capital City State Trail. There is a nearly two and a half mile off-road connection between the city of Madison and the village of McFarland. It includes the longest inland boardwalk bridge constructed solely for non-motorized transportation in North America. The Monona Wetland Conservancy was preserved and restored when the South Beltline Bridge was built over the wetlands instead of through them. And nearby Upper Mud Lake is also a great place for fishing and ice fishing. A popular part of Capitol Springs is the Madison Metropolitan Sewage District Wildlife Observation Unit, which is a great place to see birds year-round. The eighth unit is the Centennial Park, which is owned by DNR and is the newest part of the recreation area still in development. It is along the shore of Lake Wabisa, and it's one of the places to see new prairies and evidence of previous glacial activity with a preserved drumlin. In addition to these eight units, we are blessed to have the wonderful Lucier Family Heritage Center, which opened in 2001 and hosts educational and other activities for over 20,000 people a year. Now I want to introduce you to some other interesting aspects of the recreation area. You should know that there was nearly continuous Native American habitation 
in the Lunny Lake Farm area from 10,000 B.C. to European settlement. In 1977, an archaeological study by archaeologist Philip Salkin and UW students identified 32 prehistoric sites. Artifacts discovered dated from early archaic and late woodland periods, which is around 3000 to 2000 BC. In 1978, this research led to the hugely significant national designation of the Protected Lake Farm Archaeological District. Along the lake shore in Lunny Lake Farm, you will find a trail with interpretive signs sponsored by the Friends Group describing the archaeological district. Cap Springs also preserves and protects other cultural sites such as the Gilman Mound Group near the Disc Golf Course. Dane County was one of the first park systems in the U.S. to develop designated off-leash dog exercise areas, and Capitol Springs is fortunate to have one. You might want to enjoy the 18-hole disc golf course laid out over rolling glacial drumlins surrounded by picturesque prairie areas and also join us for winter sports at the park, including snowshoeing at the Centennial Unit and cross-country skiing through the E-Way. In addition to biking, walking, and hiking the trails, there are many other recreational opportunities, such as boating, paddling, fishing, and camping. Nine Springs Creek runs through the park and empties into Lake Wabisa. The friends have built two canoe launches along the creek. If you bike, hike, or canoe through the park, you will see beautiful restored prairies and wetlands. A recreation area this size is a haven for diverse wildlife, including sandhill cranes. And we are grateful to the county executive for the exciting new addition of roof solar array panels to provide energy to the Lucia Center and the Lunny Lake Farm Campground. This includes two new open-air shelters with solar panel roofs and solar power car charging stations. Now, in this last part, I want to describe the vital work of the Friends of Capital Springs Recreation Area and volunteers. The Friends of Capital Springs was founded in 2004 and is the group of passionate volunteers that sponsor a myriad of activities that help breathe life into this park. The Friends Group is a 501c3 charitable organization which has a seven-member board of directors, is staffed by a talented part-time naturalist, and purpose is to support and assist Dane County Parks and DNR with education, history, interpretation, development, restoration, and other visitor services in the park. We are housed at the Lucia Family Heritage Center. Some of our recent important work includes offering citizen science opportunities for volunteers, such as the Bumblebee Brigade, water monitoring of the creek, and monitoring American kestrel nest boxes. The purpose is to engage people with the natural world, collect and share important data, and expand habitat for wildlife. Citizen Science grew out of the 2018 BioBlitz, sponsored for us by the Milwaukee Public Museum, with over 90 scientists and surveyors identifying plant and animal species. They found over 1,100 species in just part of Cap Springs. Come and see the Prairie Learning Center, which includes a pollinator garden, prairie classroom space to learn about the ecology, wildlife, and plants of the prairie, as well as to experience its beauty firsthand. We also have new educational tools like wildlife and pollinator guides and labels for plant species. Please consider being a volunteer in Citizen Science or the Learning Center. 
Other programs and opportunities include a plan to offer a master naturalist training program at a future date, continue our annual winter nature events such as Whose Woods Raptor Program, and programs to celebrate Earth Day and National Lands Day. Annually, we hold the Harvest Moon Festival in October to educate about the park and as a fundraiser for the Friends. The Friends and the Park host many groups, both employee and volunteer work days, to perform such activities as pulling invasives, clearing brush, planting trees, cleaning the lake shore and the creek. We also help to sponsor the annual fishing day at Jenny and Kyle Preserve in summer for people with physical and cognitive challenges. The Friends have sponsored and helped create interpretive signage in the park, like this kiosk about our partner, the Madison Metropolitan Sewage District, and more signage is planned along the Wildlife Observation Boardwalk. Numerous studies demonstrate the contribution parks make to the positive physical and mental health of the community. When people bike, hike, and keep exercising, they improve their health. An example of this was the Healthy Parks Tour at Capitol Springs in 2016. We hope someday to house one of these all-terrain wheelchairs at the park. In addition, the Friends are helping raise funds for the Story Walk, located through the trails surrounding the Lucia Family Heritage Center, bringing families together through the outdoor exploration and literacy. We are grateful for the help of our many partners, which include Dane County Parks, DNR, the Lucier Center, the Sewerage District, and Madison Area Master Gardeners. We receive funding from memberships, private donations, fundraising events, and especially from the Madison Metropolitan Sewage District, which has funded our naturalists for over 10 years. Parks and trails like Cap Springs have many benefits, including they contribute to the quality of life, promote good physical and emotional health, provide free access for diverse populations, protect valuable resources, and provide environmental education to children and families. Parks and trails like Capital Springs are an investment in the community's health and future. I believe that someday this recreation area will be the central park of Dane County, as the county is predicted to grow to an estimated 750,000 people in the next 30 years. Many thanks to you for watching and listening today. We couldn't do all of this without our talented naturalist, dedicated Dane County Park staff, hundreds of volunteers, generous donations, and our wonderful partners. If you are able, please consider donating to the Friends of Cap Springs on our website so we can continue this important work. I will leave you with this thought. As Bill Lunny has said, a park is not just a piece of land. It is a vibrant part of the community. It is a source of pride and a place for people to reconnect with the natural beauty around us. So, please enjoy Capital Springs, follow COVID guidelines, and stay healthy and safe.